What's going on, Sagittarius? My name is Vince. This is 7D Tarot. Sagittarius, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned until the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards to pull your affirmation for today and a final message from the universe. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on. Right now, Source is telling you that the universe wants you to take one thing into consideration. Vibrate higher, attract brighter. That's it. When you are vibrating in a high outcome, you attract high frequencies. Therefore, you attract all the good stuff. Remember, the universe is going to give you abundance. You are always abundant. Now, whether your abundance in uh, lack, right, which is not what you're looking for, is exactly what you got to focus on. You want to be abundant in, say, wealth. You want to be abundant in love. Not lack, right? Like a whole lot of nothing. Source is telling you this is where vibrating higher comes in and that's where attracting brighter comes in. So the universe is telling you in order for you to be abundant in whatever your objective is, your desire, you first and foremost have to make sure that there's some sort of passion, something that you like that has nothing to do with that energy, has to be completely different, that you could do for 10, 15 minutes a day, make it feel like, oh, that's so fun. And then the universe, your higher self is able to come speak to you because only in that state, in that state of bliss or joy, is the higher self able to communicate with you. At that point, the higher self may tell you that, hey, you know that desire, you don't even want it, or this is how you get it. But that is the trick right now, turning knowledge into wisdom. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. So what does that really mean? Right now, find something you love. Like for example, I love gardening. So for 10, you know how you know you love something? Watch it on YouTube for 10, 15 minutes. And then if you tell yourself, wow, I wish I could just sit here and do this all day. That's when you know you love it. But if you're constantly flipping to something else, you don't, you don't love it. Find something you love, right? For you, ask yourself, what is it you like doing as a child? Maybe it was, you know, being outside in nature. Maybe it was being a star. But something that seems fun, it doesn't matter if it's realistic or not. Maybe you like sports. Find something you love. Do Spend some time doing it. This is the most important part. Understand that you got to spend a little time, 10, 15 minutes a day, focusing on it, watching videos on it, thinking about it, but putting some time and energy into it. So infuse your day with one joyful activity, right? This right here is the secret. This is how you get everything that you're looking for in your life effortlessly. And right now the universe is telling you that by doing this, you're going to feel good. When you feel good, that's when your higher self can speak to you. And remember, you and your higher self, you guys are a team, but imagine if you have a someone with a bird's eye view that can see everything, but can only tell you when you are in alignment, when you are feeling good. So Source is telling you right now, like for example, would you like to walk outside in the snow barefoot, right? That wouldn't be too fun. Or would you like to walk outside not barefoot, right? And instead wear shoes. And that's what's going on here. Wearing shoes, for example, is like being in alignment. And walking outside barefoot, for example, is like being out of alignment. So Source is telling you this is the time to be in alignment. Now you got the High Priestess and the Two of Swords. So major, it's almost like major leaps are about to take place. And right now Source is telling you that like you are able to manifest what you want. But you got to understand manifestation is the art of affirmations. It's the art of alignment. It's the art of joy. Um, what that really means is like, if you want things to get a whole lot easier for you, the universe wants you to really bring a gentle touch. And what that really means is in the morning, start your day with a non-negotiable, excellent habit, such as affirmations, which is something I do every day and I'll show you how to do it. And when you do this, it's like basically saying, universe, I am lucky today. So for example, I wake up every day, I go shower, I come sit in front of my table. And then at that point, I grab a pen and paper and I'll write my, in my journal before I even meditate. And this is before anything I do, because this is how important this is. So at that point, when I write this down, it might be just like journaling with intention something, or just I am affirmations, which I am are the most powerful words in the universe. You're basically casting a spell saying it's so. So for example, I'll sit there, and I will write something such as, I am excited, right? When you're saying I am excited, that means I'm having fun. When you're having fun, that means I'm magnetic. I'm lucky, I'm fortunate. Love, money, romance, it all comes to it. So if you really want the cheat code, rather than be like, I am rich, I am uh, whatever, you could write all that too. I write all that stuff too. But the first thing I write every day is I am excited to be alive. I'm excited for today, right? I'm letting the universe know today's gonna be a fun, exciting day, 
right? When you are doing this, you are immediately taking charge. And you're also breaking down these barriers of the past. Same old, same old, doing the same result. Now these challenges, will you'll replace them. And now you'll be able to actually challenge and replace limiting beliefs, right? By choosing positive responses in a challenging situation, all those limiting beliefs will be gone. You're instilling new neurons that fire together, wire together, new opportunities, new synchronicities, new patterns start taking place. And right now, source is telling you, all you gotta do is look at the next micro step, which really means Martin Luther King style. What he said is look at the, don't look at the whole staircase, look at the next step, which really means don't worry about where you're trying to go. Just this one trick I told you, about the I am affirmations in the morning, or the one trick I told you about finding a something that you are joyful about and doing that for 10 to 15 minutes a day. I remember asking yourself, can I do this all day? If the answer is yeah, you are joyful about it. That right there is going to free up so much energy and make your life so effortless. And that right there, like another trick you could do is visualize your desired outcome regularly. Doing these things will really enhance and, and force and, and step things up for you. So source is also telling you that during this time to reclaim your power. So there's definitely your awareness, your thought, your point of attraction is somewhere else. And I'll show you how to reclaim your power. Like by you visualizing your desired outcome regularly, this is a quick way to reclaim your power. So what does that mean? Imagine life is a book. It has 10 chapters. You're on chapter five. Now between chapter five and 10, which hasn't been written yet, that chapter of your life, those chapters are the most fun and exciting. Now make those chapters, you know, think and visualize each chapter as a very fun time. For example, one chapter, you create a product and sell millions of products and you get rich. Another chapter, you meet your soulmate. Another chapter, you go traveling. Another chapter, you get to that dream goal weight. You got six pack abs. But when you start focusing on these chapters and you start quantum entangling with them, now this is exactly how you reclaim your power and this is exactly how you bring abundance in your life, right? And right now source is telling you that this is the time to really start shining brighter. This is a time to really start thinking of abundant thoughts. There's no reason now for you to quantum entangle with scarcity knowing that it's holding you back. Now, speaking of that, look at this. Death card and page of pentacles. So again, source is telling you that in this third dimension, you are meant to be rich, but you are you have to first and foremost let go of these limiting beliefs to be rich. Now, a limiting belief for you might be, I will never be rich. You have to be lucky to be rich. You have to know people, you have to be connected. No, you don't. Okay, you can be absolutely rich, making passive income while while you day trade. Amazon, there's so many ways to make money online that you don't need to be connected or know anybody. I've done them all. I used to, I have, I still to this day have Amazon businesses, which I love. They make millions of dollars, right? The, the, what I don't, I'm not the fondest of is the fact that you have to have suppliers, inventory, logistics. It's a lot of work, guys. Lots and lots and lots of work when you sell a product. But when I have my YouTube channels, for example, I'm talking you know, out of the air, I'm pulling money by sharing my experience. Or for example, when I have my day trading, I literally create money by pressing buttons, right? And that right there is where it's at. So if I was gonna give some advice to someone and be like, hey, you wanna go, you know, create some wealth, I'd say service over product, service over product at this point. All right, so affirmation of the day. Let's write the following affirmation in your comment section. Let the universe know you've learned this lesson and you're ready for more. Remember, the universe only gives you as much as you can handle. Let the universe know. Write this down in the comment section right here, this affirmation. Write down, I get what I focus on. You're telling the universe, I am fully aware how this universe works. I know what the law of attraction is. I have learned this lesson and I get what I focus on. Write that down in the comment section. Let the universe know that your point of attraction, which you breathe life into, your focus is always on what you want. And using the word frequency is a great way to get grounded. So for example, if you are not feeling your best, say the word frequency in your mind. I always say it and I visualize it. And what that really tells me is it reminds me, whoa, geez, come back. Come back to be the energy. Stop being this human being that's dealing with stuff. Frequency, everything determines how you feel. If you wanna be able to solve this problem, you gotta stop you know, being attached to it. Frequency, that's my trigger word, right? And that helps me really remember who I am. What is your trigger word, right? Find that for yourself and uh, say that out loud anytime that things get you know, a little crazy. All right, final message from the universe. The universe says, I go where you go. Yes, please, universe loves you. Right now the message is, tell me, are you finding that occasional stranger has a crush on you? That for words you've almost mindlessly chosen, your heart's too long, uh, broken too long, uh, excuse me, your heart's broken too long, begin to heal. That I sometimes will up, swell up with tears when it's time to say goodbye, 
remarkable our findings exactly pissed your pissed your divinity is showing the universe all right and my delivery was horrendous on this and i apologize for that but the universe is letting you know right now that you are absolutely loved that you got to understand that you have a lot to bring to the table and the universe wants to remind you of this knowing your worth is really it so source is telling you right now you have a lot of beautiful, loving energy that anyone would be blessed to be around. You have to know what you bring to the table. I know this because I can quantum entangle with you, right? We don't need to be in the same room to feel this energy. I know you don't have a bad bone in your body that all you want to do is have fun, excitement, and really spread joy. This is an energy that everyone reciprocates and wants to be around. Know your worth right now is what the message is. All right, I hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.